This is the Yoon Z X Skyloon AK84. So this is a 84 key keyboard with yellow switches. So yellow switches are some of the most quiet switches um, available for mechanical keyboards. So we'll take a listen to this in a little bit. Um, but let's take a look at the construction of the keyboard. So as you can see, it's got this uh, nice aluminum bezel. Feels really nice. This inner tray is all aluminum. Um, you'll see it has this uh, decorative uh, space key here, keycap here for the space bar, and you can replace some of these. There's an extra set um, in the box, and you can customize the look and feel a little bit. And you can also see it's got some really great lighting options. So if you hold the FN key, um, you can change the speed of the lighting, you can change the various modes of the lighting options and so on, you can change the brightness, you can also toggle it um, on and off. One thing to note about this keyboard as well is if you can see over here it has Windows and Mac switches here, so you can switch between Windows and Mac. And what's really nice is it also has all of the markings for uh, both Windows and Mac, so if you operate with two different machines, this is a really good choice because you can um, still have access to uh, that functionality between Windows and Mac OS and the command control and options keys. Um, additionally, you'll see up here, there's also markings for Mac OS for uh, the uh, mission control, for example, right? So this is a really interesting keyboard. I, I also think this is nice because on this side, you have your full arrow keys and you also have page up, page down, insert, delete, um, and home and end, right? So this is a pretty complete keyboard in my opinion. Um, I have smaller, you know, there are smaller keyboards, 60% keyboards, and what happens with the 60% keyboards, you lose the dedicated arrow keys. And that makes it a little bit tricky to use because if you want to use the arrow up arrow, for example, oftentimes you have to hit FN to get to the up arrow, okay? There's a couple of things to note about this keyboard though, at least in my copy of it. Um, you can see there's a bit of a wobble. So it's not completely flat. There's a bit of a wobble here. And it's not because of anything defective on the underside. You can see the underside is completely flat. Um, it's just uh, got a bit of a wobble here, okay? So this is a little bit annoying in usage. Um, you know, even with the feet out, you can see it has uh, two levels of um, feet on the bottom here. So you can do a little bit of an incline or you can do a uh, larger incline. But even, even with the feet, there's still a bit of a wobble, at least in my instance. Maybe not all of them will have this uh, minor, minor flaw. So let's try this uh, typing speed test and give you a listen, okay? Yeah, so these yellow switches feel really good. They're very muted in terms of how much sound they make, um, which makes it a really great option for working in an office. And of course, because these lighting effects, you can, you know, you can turn them completely off. It just becomes a very normal looking keyboard um, and still very functional because you have all of your navigation keys um, along the right here and dedicated arrow keys. So overall, I think this is a really nice keyboard, save for this minor defect here um, with this uh, uh, the construction. There's one other small detail here, which is this port where the USB-C uh, plug goes. Depending on the type of plug you have, you might have trouble getting it into this uh, kind of small channel over here. Uh, but otherwise, a uh, really excellent keyboard. I love the feel of the yellow switches. I love the um, quiet operation. I love the dedicated arrow keys, dedicated navigation keys on the right-hand side here. Um, and I love this escape key with a dedicated texture you can see here. So if you're just reaching for it, you know, for the tilde, 
uh, when you're doing coding, for example, you don't accidentally hit the escape key. Um, so overall, a great keyboard, especially if you're using it for Windows and Mac like I do. Um, the only downside here is at least in my copy, it's a little bit of a tilt.